Hey everyone, Brian here. About two years ago, I got this flow tube and have been getting questions like this, asking how the flow tube has been after using it for a couple of years. So I wanted to give you all an update on how it performed over the years and what accessories I've added to make my fishing day more comfortable. And stay till the end of the video if you want to see my very first pike on this flow tube. Well, I'm glad to say that it is still alive and working well. I did find a couple of issues with it while using this. On one of my recent trips to target some pike, I noticed that my left bladder was slowly losing air after an hour or so. So I went back to shore to refill it again, hoping that it was just because I didn't seal the cover properly. And then went back out and the same thing happened. So I called it a day and headed back home. When I got back home, I went to check everything and found that it wasn't installed properly at all. Instead of having this ring here, I had it on this one, on this side. So the seal was not tight. So I fixed that and filled up the bladder again. And then I left it for a few hours just to make sure that all is good. I didn't lose any air this time, so it's safe to say that everything's working well. You just need to make sure that the cover is installed properly. The other issue was the fins. I broke this when I accidentally stepped forward, and I thought it would be more flexible than it is, but hey, now we know. So I fixed it with some duct tape, which I carry all the time. This duct tape fixes everything. And I just kept it like this. And for the accessories, I added a 1.5 pound anchor. That's about 700 grams, which helped me stay in place when it's windy or when I just want to work an area of the lake. I always place it on the on my non-casting side pocket and just attach a line to the D-rings that came with the tube. I also added this electric pump to make my life easier. But I still use the manual pump just to finish things up. Now if you want to see how I clean and maintain the flow tube after every trip, check out this video up here. Now let's get on to fishing. This trip was a few days after I tested for leaks and confirmed that it was all good. So I fished for about 4 hours on a cloudy but hot and humid day. I caught a few trout and kept one for dinner. Then I switched to targeting pike and got this little guy, which is my first pike on this float tube. Pretty exciting, it fought so well. Hope you find value in this video. If you want to see more of my flow tube adventures, then check out this playlist and consider subscribing. Thank you and see you on our next fishing adventure.